Hello there, everyone. Uh, Mike Henderson here again with uh, continuing with uh, how to typeset your novel using Scribus. Uh, we left off last time going through and trying to clean up uh, spaces and so forth. So we're going to look at that a little bit more and maybe try to make sure it's clear. Uh, as I said, one thing I want to try to do is keep text a nice, smooth flow with uh, no odd spacing and uh, a nice, uh, even, solid block of text if possible. And there are a couple of ways to do that. Uh, we can, we have the flexibility to adjust the width of a letter or a whole, you know, so all of the letters in a paragraph, for example, uh, the width, uh, or rather the space in between letters, the height of, of the space, the, uh, the line, so we can make the uh, line spacing more or less than it is in order to accomplish what we want to do. And we may try to make very subtle changes so that they're not obvious and disturbing to the reader as they go through and do it. So you can a lot of times make a, make a substantial change in the way it looks, an improvement in the way it looks by only making a small, minute, uh, imperceptible change in uh, the text itself. The other thing I want to talk about is hyphenation. Now Scribus has uh, uh, hyphenation, an automatic hyphenation uh, function, but I basically couldn't get it to work. And I did some research on the internet and there's a lot of comments about the fact that it doesn't work. And as far as I know, uh, that's the way it is uh, right now. So, uh, but what does work is uh, one of two ways to do it. You, there are such, you can just go along somewhere and insert a hyphen, a uh, so-called hard hyphen. In other words, just type in the character hyphen. So, uh, let's just get a demonstration of something here. Um, I look at this here, and this is a little spread out. So, I'm thinking I might want to uh, try to tighten this up. So, there's one thing I can do is, here's a long word, uninteresting. And that, what's causing this to be spread out here is the fact that this word doesn't fit on this line, and since the hyphenation part doesn't, automatic hyphenation doesn't really work, um, it doesn't hyphenate it. So you have to do it manually. So that's one of the, one of the uh, main tasks you have to do is go through here and see if there's a way you can uh, hyphenate a word to tighten things up. And actually, uh, I don't like automatic hyphenation because it goes through and it goes through and hyphenates things, uh, maybe in ways that you don't like. I mean, you have the ability to, to to tell it how many letters before and after the hyphen to put in, and how many hyphens in a row to put in. So, you know, that is under control. But uh, I like to know what it's doing actually. So here I have. Um, this sentence, I think, is spread out. And I have the option of putting in a hard hyphen or a soft hyphen. I'll show you what a hard hyphen is. So this is the word uninteresting. So we're going to, uh, let's say we decide to break it at un. I type in a hyphen. At the area. You see what it did? So it goes over here. It improved it because it this is tightened up. The un over here is uh, does not all that offensive as far as only being two letters. Maybe we can live with it, maybe we can't. That's a decision you'll have to make. But look what happens if I make some change to the document that changes the uh, length of this sentence. So let's say I do the cardinal sin of adding the word really. And if you live long enough, then Scribus will enter it. Okay, you see what happened? So it, it absorbed it, the line looks okay, but look, the hyphen is still is still there. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, you see the hyphen is right here. No matter what I do, the hyphen is going to stay there because that is a character I typed in. Alright, so let's get rid of the hyphen. I'm going to show you the other thing is take away really, and you really should go through your 
Now I won't take out all of the words really. There's an extra space there, get rid of that. That's one of the things I preach. All right, now I want, I want to uh, hyphenate this here, but I don't want to type in a hyphen because, uh, uh, for the reasons we just saw. So I'm going to go to insert character, soft hyphen, boom. All right, it hyphenated just like before. But in this case, if I type in really, Sometimes Scribus gets just a tad slow. There we go. But you see what happened? The hyphen, it decided it didn't need the hyphen anymore because it, it can't, uh, um, it doesn't need it. So it's gone. So that's why we uh, use the soft hyphen. So in the next section, we'll continue uh, with some of the uh, other examples. And um, 